So Beacon is a new retinal gene therapy company that we've just formed to restore and preserve the vision of patients with prevalent and rare disorders. We know a lot about the retinal gene therapy space and post the acquisition of Gyroscope by Novartis, we've been looking to start our third retinal gene therapy company. And we've done that by acquiring a company called AGTC that have a late stage program in phase two looking at excellent retinitis pigmentosa. And alongside that, we brought in a program to look at a prevalent disorder of geographic atrophy or dry AMD. And then another one that we've licensed from the University of Oxford out of Robert McLaren's lab, who is the founder of Nightstar, to look at another rare cone rod disorder. So Syncona's model is all about getting transformational therapies to late stage development. Ordinarily, we do that by starting brand new companies out of universities and building them over the long term. In the current economic climate, there's been opportunities to acquire transformational therapies that are already in development. And AGTC had one of those, and it's a company we've had a relationship for a very long time, and have been very impressed by their data in excellent retinitis pigmentosa. So we started by acquiring AGTC, but we'd also been working on a number of other pipeline indications that we brought in alongside. These came out from Oxford University um, and one that we found from elsewhere. And we put together a 96 million pounds Series A, 75 million pounds of which has been committed by us and the rest coming from Oxford University funds. In doing that, we built a business that is already clinical stage and yet still has a very exciting preclinical pipeline looking at some of the big disorders in retinal blindness and really follows in the tracks of our previous successes of Nightstar, which we sold to Biogen for over $800 million, and then subsequently Gyroscope, which we sold to Novartis for up to $1.5 billion. Beacon's lead asset, uh, AGTC501, is a gene therapy uh, currently in phase two development, uh, which addresses a retinal disorder called X-linked retinitis pigmentosa, or XLRP. XLRP is a rare uh, genetic uh, disease, um, and it leads to the progressive loss of your light sensing cells that are present in your retina, and these are called your photoreceptors. XLRP is a inherited disorder. Um, it's monogenic and recessive, and it's usually passed on from the mother to her children. This leads to vision loss, progressive vision loss in uh, boys and young men. And this typically manifests as night blindness um, and then is followed by a slow narrowing of the peripheral field of vision over time. And many of these patients are legally blind by the time that they're 40. XLRP is predominantly caused by mutations in the RPGR gene. Beacon's program essentially returns a full copy of the RPGR gene uh, back to the eye. And so it's able to address the full complement of damage that is caused by uh, XLRP. And that includes damage to both the rods and the cones. And Beacon's program has also received orphan drug designation from the US and European regulatory authorities. The Zikona model is all about transformational science to deliver transformational therapies for patients. And Beacon's a great example of that. We managed to acquire a company called AGTC, which had a late stage program in phase two for excellent retinitis pigmentosa, a blinding condition for which there are no therapies on market at all. We were impressed by their clinical data and we felt that we could take that program into phase three and get it approved. It's not often that you're able to start a company that's this stage advanced and represents the flexibility we're able to perform on our platform at Syncona. We're very, very well networked in the retinal gene therapy space, having had a lot of success here. And after the acquisition of Gyrosco, we were looking for um, indications that we could bring in to form a third company. And those have now become the pipeline that sit behind AGTC's lead program that forms a fully-fledged company that now has sustainability because it's going to deliver multiple therapies through development. But it's not just about the science, it's also about great people. And without great people, these opportunities never come to life. And what we built here is a management team that is world-class that will be able to deliver on these programs and take them forward. Dave Fellows was CEO of Nightstar. He's joined as CEO of Beacon. Nada Wahid was Chief Medical Officer at Gyroscope. And similarly, she's joined in the Chief Medical Officer role. Hello, I'm Dave Fellows. I'm the CEO of Beacon Therapeutics. At Beacon, we're building a leading ocular gene therapy company focused on both treatment of rare and prevalent diseases that lead to eventual blindness. 
Our pipeline consists of a late-stage clinical asset for the treatment of X-linked retinitis pigmentosa. Our two preclinical programs consist of one aimed at treating the dry form of age-related macular degeneration, and a second one treating a rare cone rod dystrophy that leads to premature photoreceptor cell death. We've also begun building a deep and experienced management team. Dr. Nadia Wahid, a well-known retinal specialist, will join as chief medical officer after having led gyroscope therapeutics in the development area. Hi, I am Nadia Wahid. I'm the chief medical officer at Beacon Therapeutics. Um, and at Beacon, our focus is on restoring and improving the vision of patients with retinal diseases. So our lead asset, AGTC501, is a gene therapy program that's currently in phase two clinical trials for the treatment of X-linked retinitis pigmentosa, uh, which is an inherited monogenic uh, recessive disorder that causes progressive loss of vision in, in young men. Now, in terms of our preclinical assets, um, our first product is one that is especially near and dear to my heart. Uh, it is an intravitrally delivered novel AAV-based program targeting dry age-related macular degeneration or dry MD. And dry MD uh, is a leading cause of irreversible vision loss in people over 60 years of age if it's left untreated uh, and affects around 20 million people in the US. Now our second preclinical asset uh, is, is also very exciting. It's been in license from the laboratory of Professor Robert McLaren uh, at the University of Oxford, and it targets a cone rod dystrophy, which is caused by a null mutation in the cadherin related family member one gene. I'm very excited to be part of the development of a new leading company in the ophthalmic gene therapy space. So as a result of all of this, we have within a year built a company that's on the precipice of phase three, that has a pipeline of opportunity sat behind it, is led by a world-class team, and our Series A of 96 million pounds is able to drive that lead program into phase three and deliver near-term benefit for our shareholders. We're really excited um, about uh, the potential for Beacon's lead program and its pipeline, and we're looking forward uh, to seeing how the company progresses over the next few years.